Hello, this is KSPU.org, and we're here today with Rosie Thomas. Hello. Doing an in-studio interview and song today. Yeah, so let's just get this started, I guess. Um, so, mm -hmm. you were mentioning this before the interview and on your website, a story about when you were a little girl running up to your dad saying that all you really want to do is entertain people. Mm -hmm. And um, wondering what kind of like was for you the inspiration to do that? What's kind of your drive to want to entertain people? To, um, I, I really en uh, enjoy, you know, I think, well, let's see, I'll put it simpler. I think uh, I was a camp counselor one year and this little boy, he was about eight years old and he was sitting under a tree, we were playing soccer and he, he didn't want to play anymore and I walked up to him and I said, are you all right? He said, yeah, I'm fine, Rosie. He said, I, sorry, I, I just don't feel like playing. He just said, it was the most precious thing ever. He said, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life, he said, you know, when he was eight, you know. And it really, really touched me because I thought, oh, my gosh, I was just like you, really intense about life and what my, my passions were. And um, that was a question I had all the time. I remember driving with my mom in the car around that age, eight or nine or seven even, and my big questions at the time were always, um, Mom, what, what am I supposed to be? I would ask her all the time. You know, what, what am I supposed to do with my life? How, and I would see, I remember sitting in the car with her and seeing all these people drive by that I thought I'd never meet, probably would never know. And were they doing okay was the thing I always thought. Were they, were they happy? Were they content? Um, were they uh, sad? And I, and I think I always uh, felt this, um, oh gosh, from such an early age, um, this motion to want to, to want to sit with those people and tell them they're going to be all right by you, by my life experience and the things that I've gone through. To you know, is sort of as as I've gone through things, and realize things do turn out okay. I always want to I always want to remind people of that because there are times in which I I wish people told me that. Um, so to answer that, I, I'm always a bit lengthy in my conversation or uh, rabbit trail. I do. I, I know that's something that I do quite often. But um, <clears throat> is that I really, 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 in the, my heart, I really have such a heart for people. And um, a tremendous, a <laughs> tremendous amount. Um, a, a trim, I was going to say tremendous heart. But that sounds a bit... Um, Pompous. I didn't mean that, but uh, my heart yearns to help people. You know, that's it, and it always has. Um, uh, doing comedy, or when I was a kid and did plays, and all I kept thinking about was if I could make someone laugh. What if for a little bit of time? That'd be awesome. You know, um, if I could sing someone a song and it would make them feel better. I want. I want uh, to affect people in that way. And my parents were musicians as well, and I knew. Uh, growing up with par parents that uh, were entertainers, how much their gifts helped people, and I saw that. You know, I grew up around that, and uh, and I very much wanted to have a life that would be meaningful. You know, it was always really important to me that I would have a life that was meaningful. I didn't care if I was poor doing it. Um, I just thought I can't sit with everybody in the world. I may never meet certain people, but if I could somehow record something that someone could hear that I may never meet, if it could help them through the day, then what um, what a life well lived that would be, you know. So, and that's what it feels like when I play, you know. That's what makes me do it. I mean, because we were talking earlier before we were recording about nervousness and things, and <clears throat> those are the things that compel me to continue because I get nervous just like anybody else. I feel like puking. Uh, I mean, it's, it's quite it's quite a lot what you put your body through you know it's just funny but but at the end of it when I when someone tells me that I helped them through something um, and even if they didn't even if they didn't I don't need that to do it but you, it is nice to get that confirmation because just just again it justifies um, I think this is what the Lord want me to do with my life and it, it gives me that confirmation that we all need and that's why I always want to tell people it's it's different for everybody might be it may be music and comedy for me and it may be something so different for somebody else but i know how important it is to feel like your life has purpose and 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 that brings me um great contentment you know 